What's up everybody? Welcome back to Bartlett Harbor Supply. Uh, today's video is just a quick tip on rigging line and getting out to a tip. If you don't have a pruner or if you don't have a pole saw um, or if you're just stubborn like me and I don't like climbing around with pole saws and pruners all that much just because I find them really cumbersome. Uh, so in this, in this case, I got my, my rig line set up at an anchor point behind me and I need to tip tie this, but for whatever the reason is, I can't get the right angle or the limb is all decayed and introducing too much weight can end up breaking that branch off. So one of the things that I'll do is I'll do a variation of a monkey fist. So I'll roll that up, lock it off with two half hitches. And this is just a variation of it. The one I've always come to know and do. Locked off with one. And then we'll lock it off with a second one just so that she doesn't come undone. Give myself a little bit of slack over here. Now, if I wanted to tip tie and I couldn't get out any further, I would one, two, and three. Being as that I'm so close, maybe if you can get a pendulum going, you can get this back to you. But in the event that you were way too far out, what I'll do is I'll create a belly with the ringing line and I'll just Sometimes it can take a little bit, but if you get it just right, you can capture your monkey fist with that belly of the rope, bring it back up, and now I can stand back up, get in a comfortable position, and tie my running bowline, lock that off, and she's good to go. Um, like I said though, this is one of those tricks that I like to utilize a lot when I'm doing removals and tip ties, and I just can't get out to the tip because of there's a certain factor in there that's not allowing me to. Um, but that's, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think. Drop down a couple comments in this, in this comment sections down below. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the content we have across the channel and have a good day.